Hi everyone. I hope you all enjoyed my story on vultures earlier. They really are one of my absolute favorite species of bird. Let me know on Facebook and Twitter. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now though, it's time for a question about a very different creature. Tanya asks whether it is true that we have millions of mites living on our skin. And if so, why don't they die when we wash ourselves? Our entire body is like a Kruger National Park for other species. Most are bacteria, which are 10 times more numerous in our body than our own cells, although they are much smaller. So only, in fact, make up about 1 to 3% of our body weight. Mites are a little different. First, they're much bigger than bacteria. In fact, they may occasionally be visible to the naked eye. A recent study showed that 14% of people's faces had visible mites on them. And every single face studied had some mite DNA, meaning that we are all home to these little creatures. They can just be difficult to find. The number of mites present on your face and head is probably not in the millions, but rather numbering somewhere in the hundreds. Still a lot for one part of your body. There are two species of mite found on human heads. Demodex folliculorum, which lives on our skin surface, mostly in our pores and hair follicles, and Demodex brevis, which likes to live a bit deeper in our sweat glands. They're odd-looking creatures. They are eight-legged arthropods, closely related to ticks and lice, but they have an elongated, worm-like body. Most of the time, they hide in our pores, coming out at night to mate, feed, and lay eggs. Beyond that, we don't know much about them. They probably feed off the oils we produce or on our dead skin cells. As to why they don't die when we wash ourselves, I suppose some of them do, but they likely provide a valuable service to us in some way. There certainly isn't evidence that they are harmful to us. Either way, we seem to provide a delightfully comfortable home for them, which is some reassurance, I guess.